Hello, my name is Dipanka Mukherjee and I'm a vascular surgeon. I've been performing vascular surgery for more than 20 years. During this time, I've seen great advances in care, particularly in the treatment of abdominal aortic aneurysms. The aorta is the largest blood vessel in the body. It starts in the chest cavity and supplies oxygen-rich blood to organs in your chest and abdomen. Then the aorta divides into the iliac arteries, which supplies blood to your legs. In some people, the wall of the aorta weakens and then balloons out or dilates in the abdomen. Genetics, cholesterol, and fatty buildup, along with smoking, high blood pressure, and inflammation can all contribute to weakening of the wall. This is called an abdominal aortic aneurysm. Aneurysms occur most commonly in the abdominal aorta below the level of the renal arteries or the blood vessels going to your kidneys. An abdominal aortic aneurysm is dangerous and must be treated because over time it will enlarge and as it enlarges the wall of the vessel becomes weaker and the chance of rupture increases. If you have an abdominal aortic aneurysm it is important to have its size routinely monitored so that it can be treated before it ruptures. When an aneurysm ruptures, life-threatening bleeding can occur. So how do you know if you have an abdominal aortic aneurysm? Your medical doctor on routine history may ask you if you have had a family member with an aneurysm or if you have a history of side, back, or abdominal pain. Also, on routine physical examination, your doctor may identify a pulsatile abdominal mass. Three quarters of patients with abdominal aortic aneurysms have no symptoms when they are first detected. They're most commonly detected on CT scan or ultrasound, which were being done to eliminate some other disease process. Based on the information you provide your doctor, he will order a quick, painless, non-invasive ultrasound if an aneurysm is suspected. If an aneurysm is present on ultrasound, a CT scan can accurately determine its size. If your tests reveal that you have an abdominal aortic aneurysm, you should be seen by a vascular surgeon. Most abdominal aortic aneurysms have a significantly higher chance of rupture when they exceed 5.5 centimeters in size or if they grow more than half a centimeter in one year. If the vascular surgeon determines that your abdominal aortic aneurysm needs to be repaired, your surgeon will talk with you about surgical options. There are two ways to repair an abdominal aortic aneurysm, either by open surgery or by endovascular surgery. In open surgery, an incision is made on the patient's side or down the middle of the abdomen, with possible incisions in the groins. Once the aorta is reached, the surgeon places clamps above and below the aneurysm. This stops the blood flow through the aorta during the operation. Then the surgeon opens the aneurysm and sews a synthetic graft to normal-sized aorta above and below the aneurysm. The clamps are then removed and circulation is restored and the abdomen is closed. Open surgery is advantageous because it is a durable and proven medical procedure which usually requires no further imaging for follow-up. However, open surgery does require general anesthesia and overnight stay in the intensive care unit and about five to seven days in the hospital. A complete recovery can take up to three months. Endovascular repair is performed under local, spinal or general anesthesia. The surgeon gains entry into the blood vessels in the groins and directs wires, sheets and catheters up into the aorta using x-ray guidance. The surgeon then measures the aneurysm and deploys a stent graft inside of the aorta to exclude the aneurysm. A completion picture is taken using x-rays to make sure there is no blood flowing around the stent into the aortic aneurysm sac and that it is truly excluded. The advantage of endovascular surgery is that the operation can be performed while the patient is awake under local anesthesia or spinal or epidural anesthesia. This procedure can also be performed on patients on whom open surgery is too dangerous. The procedure takes between one to three hours and the patient may be discharged as early as the next day and return to full activity within a week or less. Some people are not candidates due to the aneurysm anatomy and it is important to know that the graft migration and leaks can occur. Additionally, routine lifelong imaging studies, either ultrasound or CT scan, 
uh, needs to be performed. If you are considering surgery to repair an abdominal aortic aneurysm, it is important that you are fully educated about your condition and that you select a surgeon and hospital with high volume of experience performing both open and endovascular surgery. Our team at Innova has extensive experience in repairing abdominal aortic aneurysms. For more than 10 years, we have performed the procedure using endovascular techniques and we continue to actively participate in clinical trials to test new devices. In addition, we monitor surgical patients ourselves postoperatively so that if any problems do appear, they are immediately addressed. We are proud not only of our dedicated team approach, which includes surgeons and nurses, but also of being a nationally recognized program. In fact, in 2008, we received the national five-star rating from Health Grades as a top-ranked program in the management of abdominal aortic aneurysms. This was the fifth time we have received such a rating. I hope this has helped you. Please look at the aneurysm pages elsewhere on this website, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us.